Every fall, students and alumni look forward to one of the oldest and most favored traditions at A&M Kingsville, Homecoming Week. Festivities this year began with the annual kickoff on Monday. We're trying to get everybody excited to be here today. We have SGA and the candidates campaigning so that they can hopefully run or win king and queen. So we have snow cones, have uh, face paint and balloons, and just really trying to get people excited for all the things that we have going on this week. Because it really gets our students engaged with our university and it really brings out the student populations to be engaged with other organizations on campus to really show the Havelina spirit that we have here. At it's very important. I mean, promoting school spirit is like the main thing. It's, it gets you pumped up. I like, I like it so much. And it's only my second year, so it makes me feel like I'm at home. While Tuesday's events were fun, they also had an important message. Um, our hopes today is, again, the students are mind to always have a non-intoxicated driver, use Uber, Lyft, taxi, call somebody, and then also don't text and drive. The virtual reality was really, it was interesting. You got to see what it was like driving distracted. Um, people would jump out at you. They would show you if you're on a phone, you know, there was a baby carriage passing by. Um, things that you normally would see on the street that people are not aware of. Wednesday, the campus was buzzing as student organizations set up their tents and filled University Boulevard with a diverse array of food, games, and fun for the annual Fall Carnival. Havelinas enjoyed the opportunity to mingle and relax, but the event also allowed student organizations an opportunity to raise money. Uh, Fall Carnival this is, I think, one of our best events, Fall Carnival Spring Flink. It's a, a chance for all the organizations to come out, see each other, support each other, and be able to fundraise for themselves and get some good food because, you know, I love Fall Carnival. I get to eat my dinner here. You know, I get to drink uh, with lemonades, horchatas, from anything and everything, and it's a, a great variety of food here. Uh, so today we're selling tacos de bistec. Um, it's a staple. We do it every year. We have returning customers who come and they uh, always tell us that they love our tacos, so we just like to do it every year and get the same customers over and over again. This is actually one of our main fundraisers for the year. Um, we usually come out and we do a, a majority of our fundraising here, um, just between all the students and organizations that are out here. Well, I'm here to support my fraternity. Um, I'm in a women's fraternity, Theta Phi Alpha. Um, we're selling brisket sandwiches, so I also like being a part of school events. Well, I go to school here and I like it because I can bring my dog and you're, you're here to help the clubs out by, by buying from them and that way they can do their own thing what they do. The fun continued as Havelina Nation hit the streets of downtown Kingsville on Thursday for the homecoming parade. Havelina football, student orgs, and our administrators shared our Havelina pride with the community. Havelina alumni came home on Friday for a celebratory dinner in their honor. The Distinguished Alumni Awards highlight the best and brightest who have graced Havelina Nation over the years. Saturday was busy and full of Havelinas at our traditional pregame tailgate party. Following tailgate, fans packed the stadium for our homecoming game and the announcement of King and Queen. Congratulations to 2017 homecoming King and Queen, Thomasin Alagbe and Samantha Olivares. The greatest homecoming on earth may be over, but the memories and Havelina pride will last forever.